I ran my first marathon. The Space Coast Marathon in Cocoa Beach is the oldest marathon in Florida, and this year was its 50th anniversary. I trained for 10 months, running 500 miles in my neighborhood, and then using a GPS watch, ran 300 miles of virtual races, vying for my fastest speeds on each. Here are the medals for all of those races. After getting this 47-year-old body into the best shape I could, I headed four hours north to the Space Coast. And at 4 a.m., I waited two hours in the 50-degree weather for the race to begin. And we're off. Though a marathon is 26.2 miles, we're not all at the starting line. As you can see here, I ran a third of a mile before reaching the start. In fact, the walk from my hotel room to the bus, to the starting line, to the finish lines, back to the bus, and out to my car was close to 30 miles, or 54,924 steps burning 5,572 calories. Fortunately, the marathon tracks only the run between the start and finish lines, which took me 5 hours, 16 minutes, and 53 seconds. I reached the first 10K checkpoint in 1 hour. That's 6.2 miles. I reached the half marathon point in 2 hours and 8 minutes and 32 seconds. If I had just run either of those races, I would have made excellent time. Excellent. I'm pretty sure I could have run the half marathon in an even two hours. But I was there for one purpose. Run a full marathon. And after 16 miles, I was out of gas. My running speed dropped to about half, and it was interspersed with periods of walking. With another year of training, I could definitely run the same race next year in under four and a half hours. But that's not my plan. This was enough for me, for now. Here I am approaching the finish line as they called out my name over the speakers, Kevin from Cape Coral. And after 10 months of training, it all came down to this moment right here. So, what did I learn from this? Well, in nuclear medicine, we do a lot of heart imaging that includes having the patient stress their hearts. In order to do so, they have to get their heart rate up to 85% of its maximum and keep it there for 10 seconds. Your maximum heart rate in beats per minute is 220 minus your age. About 1 in 25 of our patients are able to reach 85% of their maximum by walking on a treadmill. The rest need a chemical injection. During the marathon, I got mine up to 186, or 107.5% of maximum, and kept it there for just under four hours. That is Zone 5, maximum perceived exertion, a sprinting pace, unsustainable for long periods of time. The rest of the race was spent split between Zone 3, the aerobic zone, and Zone 4, the threshold. Overall, this kept my heart rate at an average of 161 beats per minute, or 93% of my maximum, for five and a quarter hours. So what is a normal heart rate at rest? Well, it's between 60 and 100 beats per minute, with the lower the number, the better. Mine is 49 beats per minute. This chart shows that at any age, that number is only achievable in the athlete category. The other number here is the training effect, TE, with mine being a 5, classified as overreaching. The VO2 max number is the maximum amount of oxygen your body can utilize during exercise. During the race, mine was 47, the same as my age. And on this chart, that places it in the very good zone. If I can get it up to a 49, it will be in the excellent zone. Excellent. Another thing I learned was that people of all shapes, sizes, and ages did much better and much worse than me. But we all did it and pushed ourselves as much as we could. Here are 11 other people you may know that have run marathons. Shia LaBeouf in 4 hours, 35 minutes, 31 seconds. Mario Lopez in 4 hours, 23 minutes, and 29 seconds. Now, he is the same age, height, and weight as me, but I don't know what age he was when he ran. Kevin Hart in 4 hours, 5 minutes, and 6 seconds. Sean Astin in 4 hours and 4 minutes. Will Ferrell in 3 hours, 56 minutes, and 12 seconds. Ryan Reynolds in 3 hours, 50 minutes, and 22 seconds. 
Edward Norton in 3 hours 48 minutes and 1 second, President George Bush in 3 hours 44 minutes and 52 seconds, Flea from the Red Hot Chili Peppers in 3 hours 41 minutes and 49 seconds, Chef Gordon Ramsay in 3 and a half hours and 37 seconds, and Brian Cranston in 3 hours 20 minutes and 45 seconds. And now I have two.